Well, he's got Kerry Farr in his corner. Kerry Farr knows the boxing game. Hello, friend. It's boxing coach Kerry Farr, and today I want to demonstrate some punches that we use in boxing for you. I'm going to give you six or seven different punching techniques. Of course, you know, you have your basic stance, you get in your stance, and the first punch that you're going to throw is the jab. And the jab just starts, you know, it actually starts from the back toe. You push off from the back toe and you push your weight into the punch. You basically start at the back toe, the rear right foot, and you push forward and you step forward. The old timers back in the 20s, Dempsey and those guys call this a trigger step. You step forward and you drop the hand, shoot the hand out, and then just before you hit the opponent, you squeeze your hand and pronate the hand so that the left jab, boom, touches your opponent, bam, or hits your opponent in the face, the shoulder, wherever you're, wherever you're trying, trying to hit him. The next punch is the right cross. It's called the cross because it goes across, you know, either your opponent's punch or across the left jab after you throw it. So you jab, and then when you start the right hand, it also starts from the rear foot. You push off of the right foot, and you turn into the punch, and at the same time, when you're throwing the punch, you pronate the hand, and you shift your weight from right to left as you throw the punch, and it gives you a lot more power. I noticed when one of my guys fought the great Tommy Hearns, I've got an eight by 10 picture of Tommy throwing a right hand and he spins off of that right foot as he throws that right hand. So he pushes, pushes off of that right toe, boom, and throws that right hand and connects with the opponent. Great, he had a great, great right hand. The third punch is the left hook. And you're in position and I think the best way to throw the hook is the same way Joe Frazier did. You're in your stance. When you get ready to throw the hook, you step to the left just ever so slightly, shift your weight to this thigh, to the left side, and then you're going to come across with the hook. Now, a lot of guys, you know, have the, the hand like this, and they say, break the hand off, and they'll throw the hook with the elbow high. And so a lot of guys throw the hook, you know, lifting the elbow, boom. I personally like to turn the hand like this, shift the weight over there, and just come across like this with, you know, with the, the, the palm of my hand facing me, and I'm throwing the punch perpendicular to my body. <clears throat> I get a lot of torque, and I shift the weight here, bah, there's your hook. All right, so. Jab, cross, hook, right hand. That's a four punch combination. Of course, you've got one, two, you've got one, two, and the hook is three. Then another very deadly punch is the uppercut. And with the uppercut, you're gonna shift the weight to the right side of your body. You're gonna lean forward, and you're gonna come up with the uppercut. I had an old trainer, Back in the 60s, it, it was, you know, uh, a contemporary of Dempsey and those guys that fought in the 20s. He called it the upper shoot, but it's called the upper cut. And so you basically, you know, push with the bottom right foot and you lift that hand up. And some guys throw it straight up like this, but I always like my guys to throw it kind of out because if it hits the chest, or the neck, it's gonna automatically go up. So you throw the uppercut like this. There's your uppercut, and the best shot to throw right after the uppercut is the hook. So here's uppercut, hook, right hand, another good combination. Now, speaking about uppercuts, this would, this would be called, you know, I guess today, a rear uppercut. If, you know, uh, I throw a left hook, a guy is always open right then to throw a, a, a kind of a forward uppercut, boom, with the left hand, 
up the middle. You hit, you hit the guy with a hook, bam, and you come right back. Mike Tyson was real effective with hitting a guy with a right hand that he would come back with the uppercut. One, one other punch that boxers like to use is called a slammer. And so what you do, it's, it's not a right hook. You throw right hand, but the guy's got, you know, his hand up high, and you're in close, and you want to hit him behind his hand. What you do is you get close, and you throw kind of like a hook, but you go behind his hand and hit him, you know, right behind, in the ear, right behind his hand. So he's got his hand up, bam, that's called a slammer. So there you go, five or six real good punches that you can use in boxing. Uh, if you like what we're sharing here, you know, please subscribe to the channel, share it with your friends, and like the video. Thank you very much for watching today.